Hello guys, Malko here and here today for you guys I have part 3 of the YouTube background um, tutorial series and if you guys don't remember on part 1 I covered up um, how you can make your modules look better and the really nice effect that you can apply to your modules and on part 2 I covered up um, how to um, apply some really nice gradients to your background, your YouTube background. So, yeah, and on part three, which is this video, um, I will be covering up some finishing touches. Um, yeah, some finishing touches um, and some really nice effects that you can apply to your YouTube background. And I'm gonna actually cover up just two effects today. And these two effects, actually, I have been asked a lot to make a tutorial on. So, yeah, why don't we start it out, guys? Okay, so first of all, the first effect that I'm going to be talking about is the glowing edges. Now, I have been asked a lot to um, make a tutorial on this, you know, how to make your um, the edges here on of your modules um, shiny and glowing. So, here's the tutorial, guys. So, first of all, make sure to make a new layer on top of the, your modules layer and go to your brush tool and select a brush which is 3 pixels and the hardness a yeah a hardness of 0% so it's pretty much just this one but yeah and here is your foreground color uh, make sure to select a color which you want your which you want uh, the edges of your of your modules to glow like so yeah and then just select the the pan tool of course we're gonna zoom in here to our modules and then just click on here just click on somewhere then while holding shift okay just click on the vertex just the point of the modules here and again while holding shift just select just make kind of like an area a right angle here 90 degrees you just gotta go uh, to uh, right click on the working path that we have created here and select stroke path now, you go, now, yeah, now you wanna check simulate pressure and you wanna select the brush as your tool and I'm just gonna hit OK here I'm just gonna delete the work path here you can see now it's glowing but it's not really that much um, you know visible so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some effects to it so I'm gonna give it a, uh, an outer glow of course a blue outer glow here also gonna give it an inner glow of of blue again I'm also gonna change the blending mode to screen as you can see um, it's really it's a really nice effect here um, and yes, yeah, so that's that is the uh, the first effect here. Um, uh, you know, if you if you wanna apply the same effect to the other vertices, you just gotta you know copy it and you know just copy paste and stuff. So yeah, so that is the first effect, guys. Um, now the second effect that I'm gonna be talking about today is the scan lines. Now you might have seen these these uh this pattern. Yeah, this is a pattern. Um, on a lot of backgrounds recently, it's pretty much like the new, I guess, thing. Like, but yeah, um, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna be telling you guys how to make the pattern yourself. Um, so yeah, let's start it up. So, you should to, to make a new document here, file new. Uh, make it uh, so that the width is three by three. Yeah, width three, height three, resolution seventy two, whatever. And background contents make it transparent. Hit OK here. I'm gonna zoom in a lot, a lot. So yeah, um, now select your foreground color and set it to black. I'm just gonna go to my paint bucket tool and just click on here and make sure that it is black now. Then just um, go to your rectangular marquee tool and select the three pixels here that are in the middle so just drag it here it's really simple to do and just um, make sure that your foreground color is white here 
yes it is right now and go ahead and go to your paint bucket tool again and just paint the middle you know the pixel that you selected white and there you go then just hit ctrl D and that's pretty much the pattern now to set it as a pattern and it's not only this pattern it's pretty much just every single pattern that you want to uh, to you know do a pattern but yeah, just go to edit and define pattern. Just give it a name here. I don't really want to give it a name because I already did. Just hit OK, but I'm going to hit cancel because I already have the pattern here. And now to apply it to your background, um, just go ahead and click on here and make a new pattern here. Just select, of course, your pattern and hit on OK. Now to, to give it a nice effect, just change the blending mode to uh, soft light and decrease the opacity to about um, to about 64% here. And as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it on the video on YouTube, but as you can see here, the uh, now there are of course the scan lines here. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the video for you guys today. Um, um, I hope that you like this. Um, I hope that you um, that you will lose that you will um, use these effects on your on your new backgrounds that you're gonna probably be doing after this tutorial. So, so yeah, go ahead and try them out yourself. I hope that you that uh, this tutorial helps you guys out. And yeah, so um, also quick update. Uh, make sure to uh, to check out my new speed art. It was uploaded yesterday. Um, I will have a link um, in the description box below, and also on a uh, an, an annotation, yeah, annotation on the video. So you can just click on that, or just go to the description box and click on the link right there. So yeah, make sure to like this video, guys. It helps me a lot. It keeps me motivated to do more tutorials for you guys, and also you know more speed art and stuff like that. So this is Mark of signing out, and I'll see you guys later.